Hello ladies and gents, today I'll be sharing with you the best tactics for this diamond formation and also the preferred player styles. I'll also be showing you how to attack and defend in game with this incredible formation too. But before we get into the detail, let's just take a look at my Master League using this formation. 31 games played, just the one loss and only 12 goals conceded. I'm also averaging almost 2 goals a game. So this is a formation, it's a diamond 4-4-2. And I'll quickly run through the attacking instructions. Possession, short pass, central attack and air, maintain formation and three for support range. Front line pressure, middle aggressive, six for defensive line, seven for compactness. Advanced instructions, attacking fullbacks and hug the touchline. Now I'm going to run through the play styles because these are equally as important as the tactics. So starting up front with Marcus Rashford, we have him as a goal poacher. So he's going to be play, playing on the last line of defence. That's really important to push the defensive line back. We have Anthony Martial as a whole player. So he's going to be looking to break into the box, but also pick up the ball from deep and then drive at the defence. You will often find that he sort of drifts out into these wide areas as well and looks to run down the channels. And Marcus Rashford will do that as well, but at a far more advanced position. Then we have Bruno Fernandes in a classic number 10. This is a role I really, really like. He's not too far up. He was a whole player at one point, and he was like breaking into the box as well. If that's what you want, then go for that. But what I would recommend is having a player on the sidelines as a whole player, just in case you need to mix up your tactics. If you find yourself struggling or this position getting just overrun in the midfield, then you want him a little bit further forward, then go for the whole, whole player in this position. Otherwise, the classic number 10 is absolutely perfect. You'll find him picking up the ball in these sort of areas and linking the play between the midfield and the strikers. Then for Phil Foden, we have creative playmaker. That's grayed out. Um, I'm training him to be box to box. And that is the role of Paul Pogba as well. So he's box to box as well. So what I'm expecting those two to do is get up and back and support Bruno Fernandes and Neves, depending what the phase of the attack is, whether we're, whether we have the ball and we're attacking or we're um, perhaps on the defensive. The reason I like these players here is um, they've all got decent passing stats, but let's go into Ruben Neves' role first before I cover the stats. So he's got the orchestrator role. This is absolutely perfect. You'll sort of see him sort of move from here to here starting off deep you know building the attacks picking the passes he doesn't generally tend to venture forward too much further than about here i would say so you'll see him sort of pick the ball up unless you tell him to go forward um using a you know a dynamic one two or, or something like that but generally he picks the ball up in these areas and he will control the game for you so like I said, these four players, the key thing for me is the low pass stat. You know, they're all over 80. And that is really, really vital. And that's going to help you keep the ball. Now, the most, perhaps the most important aspects of this formation, and I haven't got a great pairing, to be honest. I've got Aaron wan he's not, you know, great defensively, both these players, but not too good offensively. But the, the, the role is really important. You have to have offensive fullback for both of these uh, players. If you have defensive fullback, it's not really going to work. You're going to be sort of limited to attack stand side and you're going to find them getting these sort of positions here. If you can get like pinpoint crossing or assign a player with pinpoint crossing in those positions, then that is an absolute winner. As for the centre backs, we've gone for build up on both Maguire and Lindelof. And then we've gone for offensive goalkeeper with a David De Gea. So offensive goalkeeper means he'll come out more often than not to try and act as a little bit of a sweeper if need be. And that's quite useful sometimes. So that is the formation, the tactics, the play styles all covered. Hopefully that answers any questions you have around that. Now I want to show you how to defend and attack using this formation. So from an attacking point of view, this formation can do everything. But it does rely on sort of switching play from left to right, as you're going to be seeing here. And your fullbacks are so, so important. They don't have to have pinpoint crossing because what you can do is here is well, what you're seeing me do is sort of just cycle the ball around the outside of the penalty box and then just look to sort of probe and create from these wide positions. So one Pazak is not really going to look to get crosses into the box, but he's looking to feed players inside the channels and just Keep probing and picking away again. Using Luke Shaw this time, the fullback. Switching sides. And this is how I tend to build my attacks. So from left to right, 
get down the wing, play it into the middle, stretch the opposition, and then look for the overlaps with your other wide player. Here with Luke Shaw driving across into the box. So because you're playing a 4-4-2 diamond, don't be afraid to sort of just play little one twos and short passes in between themselves just to sort of narrow the shape of your opponent before playing out wide so now you're seeing the sort of space in these wide positions and now what we want to do is sort of drag arsenal wide and create space in the gap like i said look at martial here he's showing up on the wing because he's a whole player in that ss role so that ss role as a whole player you're going to sort of see him get wide but look at the space i've got here to get a shot off that's purely because i was able to stretch arsenal so we first we made them really narrow by playing little combinations between the, the the diamond four and then we're going to stretch them wide and create spaces in the middle to try and create and fashion chances just watch what i do here with Martial and rashford look at my position i bring them both up because if I'm able to win the win the header, this is sort of like a counter press, and I'm in straight away, in on goal, and it's an easy near post finish. And like I said, this formation can do everything, but you're going to need like pretty pacey forwards, really for the sort of counter attacking aspect. But look at this, look at the break. This is classic Manchester United at their best. Pogba driving through, he's just going to square it, and it's an easy tap in. Again, Arsenal 2-0 down now, really pushing for the goal, but look at Rashford drop off and watch Rashford bust the gut to get forward. That's because he's got that goal poacher role. He wants to get on the last line of defence and look at the amount of acres he's got here. He should be doing better there, to be honest, but the keeper does well to save it. So with that midfield diamond, you can actually play through the middle as well, especially if you've got big, powerful players like Pogba, who's able to sort of push his way through there. And then you can just sort of toy with your opponent and just take pot shots from range. The final goal of the game came through a bit of counter pressing after I lost the ball. So watch Rashford get in, wins the ball, and it's a beautiful little chip over the goalkeeper outside of the foot. So if we just take a look at the stats, you can get an idea of how much I dominated this game. This was actually an FA Cup game against Arsenal, so not an easy game, but we pretty much dominated that, and that was a really good display of attacking football. Let's look at this formation from a defensive point of view. So what you want to be doing is dragging your left central midfielder and right central midfielder wide, as you're seeing here, and blocking the passing lanes to the wings. So that's the key. You want to force your opponent to play it through the middle, and then you can win the ball back. If you lose the ball when you're attacking, what you want to do is apply an aggressive press from the front to the back. So you're going to be seeing here my defenders pushing out and forcing them to sort of play the early pass because they're going to have a lot of their team sort of left behind again here that sort of aggressive counter pressing able to win the ball back high up the pitch so important to get your central midfielders wide to block the passing lane to force them to play a long pass and if you do that right that will be forcing your opponent to play through the middle and it's easy to win because you'll have the strength in numbers there what i find is if you keep maintaining this good defense where you're not conceding the AI starts dithering on the ball because he just can't seem to find a way past this formation. So you can see Bernardo Silva just sort of dither on the ball. He sort of wins it back, but, you know, he tries to get his cross in, but it's easily intercepted. So Manchester City here are able to break pretty quickly. Notice how I give Aguero sort of 6 to 12 yards. Don't let him run in behind or, you know, get, get your man back and block the middle so they're sort of forced to play it wide and in those wide areas it's just so much easier to win the ball back and again you know the sort of press that you can apply through the middle forcing them to go wide and again just get your player really nice and tight as you've seen in my tackling tutorials and you can win the ball back relatively easily so you can see here Martial look at Martial's position like I said drag those players wide sort of block the passing lanes, get them to play it in the middle. Again, getting good numbers back there. They play a hopeful ball wide. I'm able to close that distance and win the ball back so, so easily. Let me just summarize how to get the most out of this formation and tactic. From an offensive point of view, you can do everything with this formation, with the right personnel and the right player roles, which is so important this year. You can counter-attack, you can build from the wide areas, you can play ticker-tacker through the middle. This formation can do absolutely everything. 
Defensively, as you saw from my league table, conceding just 12 goals in 31 games just shows you how good this is. Get your midfielders and front players wide when your team is forced back. And when you lose the ball with your team high up the pitch, you need to apply that aggressive press from the front to the back. So apply and press with your front players, from your midfielders, from your defenders, especially if they've only got a couple of players up front themselves. Okay, that is all for me, ladies and gents, for this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you in my future videos. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and share my content. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.